Our DNA Star Cloud Assemblies tool allows you to quickly run multiple parallel assemblies on the cloud, alleviating hardware requirements from your data analysis. Access this functionality through the first screen of the Seekman Engine Wizard. Enter in your login information to get started. You will then see how many assemblies remain on your purchased license. On the following cloud assembly screen, you have the opportunity to upload the data you are using for your project. This opens up our DNA Star Cloud Data Drive tool to easily transfer your data to and from the cloud. For this example here today, I'll demonstrate how to run several reference guided bacterial genome assemblies in parallel. So I've already uploaded some data from two different strains of E. coli. To add in data, I can either upload a folder or file. Here I'll upload a folder holding some FASTQ files from another E. coli strain. We can see this appear in the Recent Uploads Downloads menu. After I'm finished uploading my files, I can choose to close the data drive. Now back at the Cloud Assembly screen, I'll choose to proceed with a new Cloud Assembly. Next, we'll select our project type. Again, for this project, I'll be doing some bacterial genome assemblies, but you can perform any of the assembly projects from this list. Similarly, you will next choose the assembly type for your project. Next, we'll name our project and create a folder in the data drive to store our files. As we're running a templated assembly for this example, now we'll go ahead and add in our reference file. If you're working with model organisms, we do have multiple DNA star genome template packages built into the program. However, we'll go ahead and add in an E. coli reference file that I've added to the DNA star data drive. Next, we'll go ahead and select our read technology and we'll start adding in our reads. We'll start adding in the folders we had previously uploaded from the data drive. And we'll name these folders as we go. We will also want to pay attention to the parameters at the top of the screen before moving ahead. Currently, we have checked the multi-sample data box, which in turn selects the Run as Separate Projects box. This ensures that each of our experiments generates a separate assembly project. If we choose to uncheck this box, then this creates a single combined assembly. Finally, we can choose to adjust our assembly parameters if desired. The default parameters here work for most projects. Now we finish setting up our project. At the top of the screen, we can confirm how many assemblies are running. Next, you can click Assemble to begin. Next, we'll want to monitor the progress of our assemblies, and we can do this in a couple different ways. After the assembly initially begins, we can click Next and get to our monitoring screen. If we choose to close out of the screen, we can always get back by opening up DNA Star Cloud Assemblies from the Navigator, selecting Assemblies on the Cloud, and then selecting Manage Monitor Existing Cloud Projects. So here we can then choose to look at all our assemblies, only those that are running, ones that have failed, and other recent assemblies. We can also choose to cancel assemblies that are running from the screen if desired. Once our assemblies are complete, we can choose to view our assembly report. View the assembly log.
or download our completed assembly projects to our desktop for further analysis. For more information on DNA Star Cloud assemblies or the DNA Star Cloud data drive, please visit our website at www.dnastar.com or contact us at support at dnastar.com.